Rick Sanchez. You challenge Yugi to a duel, and he beat you. Expect no less from me, for I am a superior duelist. If he had dueled me without that f***ing puzzle, he would be in the Shadow Realm right now. Please! There's nothing more said than a sore loser making excuses. <laughs> Once I defeat you and get rock in my deck, I will be the one to take the title of King of Games from Yugi. Let's, Let's duel. duel! I summon Pickle Rick level 1 in attack mode. If you have monsters like that in your deck, it's no wonder Yugi beat you! You're already starting to piss me off. I set two cards face down and end my turn. I summon Z Metal Tank in attack mode! Next, I set two cards face down. Oh, hey there. I'm just in a private screening watching something dope that some of my friends here are starring in. Raid Shadow Legends has just premiered an animated limited series called Raid Call of the Arbiter. Now, you can watch it for free in the game. The first episode is already out, and the new episodes will be dropping every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time until July 20. I've seen the first episode, and as a fan of the fantasy genre, I have to say I enjoyed it. I was particularly impressed by the production value of the animation. I really like the stylized approach of the art style. The visuals make it feel like it's a world that I really want to explore. The limited series is pretty much expanding and fleshing out the world of Raid in a way that's never been seen before. They're releasing lore videos and behind the scenes content on YouTube. Personally, I nerd out on these type of videos. The cool thing about all of this is that they're adding Call of the Arbiter related features. Some champion bios, champions that feature in the show like Gaelic, Athel, Kel, and Elaine and also some fan favorites like Death Knight, Sill of the Drakes, and more. Look, if you haven't played Raid yet, this is definitely the best time to jump in. And if you're already a Raid fan, then this launch has so much cool stuff to offer. Everyone would get a chance to get Artak, one of the five new characters from the show, as a playable legendary champion for free. All you have to do is log in to Raid for seven days between now and July 24th. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, use my link in the description or scan my QR code and you will get all kinds of bonuses like the epic champion, Knight Errant. Once you're logged in, come find me under the name Faber Soul. I'll see you on the battlefield. See Metal Tank! Attack! Now! I activate my trap card in a pickle. When Pickle Rick is attacked, it lets me special summon Pickle Rick level 3 from my deck. What a waste! Your monster is a few attack points short. Metal Tank, destroy his monster. Seriously, you brought me here just to get up by that tank. Rick, I must say, so far, I am not impressed. I wanted you to destroy my monster because now I can activate this. Pickle up. When Pickle Rick level 3 is destroyed, I can special summon Pickle Rick level 5. I'm gonna fuck you up, Kaiba. You were saying... Your stupid Pickle got a makeover. So what? Make your move. I draw. Pickle Rick. A taxi metal tank. Pickle cyborg blast. Time for payback. You've triggered my trap card. Negate attack. My trap card stopped your attack. You're going to get what's coming to you, Kaipa. I set two cards face down and end my turn. I summon X Head Cannon in attack mode. When X Head Cannon and Z Metal Tank are on the field, they can combine to make a stronger monster. My monster is stronger than yours. Tank Cannon. Attack Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick level 5 has a special ability. Once per turn, by paying 800 life points, I can negate your attack. That Pickle's days are numbered. I set one card face down and end my turn. My move. I summon the Space Cruiser in attack mode. My ship has a special ability. All right, monsters on my side of the field gain 500 attack points. Also, you can't attack the Space Cruiser if there is another Rick monster on the field. Pickle Rick destroy his XZ tank cannon. Let's see you get out of this one. What the f 
is this? My monster has a special ability. My machine is made of two parts. You just destroyed one of them. Whatever, I end my turn. This card is the key to summoning Obelisk. I set one monster face down and switch my X-Head Cannon into defense mode. I end my turn. I don't have a good feeling about his face down card. It could be the key to his next combo. It's time to bring out my God card. I summon Mr. Poopy Butthole. Hi, I'm Mr. Poopy Butthole. Seriously. Kaiba, you're nothing but a has-been who's living in the shadow of the Pharaoh. It's time I put you out of your misery. I activate the Magic Card Ancient Chant. This allows me to add the Winged Dragon of Ra from my deck to my hand. It also gives me one extra tribute summon. This is it. He's about to summon Ra. Now I sacrifice all three of my monsters to summon my God Card. Mighty protector of the sun and sky, I beg of thee, please heed my cry. Transform thyself from orb of light and bring me victory in this fight. I beseech thee, grace our humble game, but first I shall call out thy name, Wing Dragon of Raw. 